everyone going? All right, welcome to Regeneration Class. I'm Coach Clint, and today we'll be going over some really good movements to just kind of help you recover from your week, get up, get moving. Uh, nice short little class. Hopefully not sweat too much, but it is hot, so that might change. Um, but hopefully just get to have some good movements. Make sure you have some water, which I do today as a good coach. I actually brought water for myself. A mat if you want it, or... Um, you know, a pad or something on the floor so that you're not laying directly on the floor or in the grass. Um, and other than that, you just need yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting today, we like to start with tip of the day in this class. So our tip today is kind of going with the whole unplug, right? Unplugging from your day. So these are some realistic ways to unplug because unfortunately I understand that that isn't always the easiest thing to do. So if you kind of look at this, right, we're looking at using technology to create boundaries. So use your technology you're already using. So your Outlook calendar, your Google calendar, whatever you might be using, use that to set times, right? I work from this time. So these are my work meetings, use colors. And then for your home stuff, use a different color. That way you're setting specific work life boundaries. Okay, we already use it, might as well use it for, for good, right? With great power comes great responsibility, to quote a famous Spider-Man. Okay, so do not respond to non-critical, remember non-critical in this, emails. So don't tell your boss that your coach told you to not respond to emails. Non-critical emails. Try not to look at that kind of stuff. Not only does it add stressors to your life because you're trying to do that and maintain family life or whatever your outside of work is, but just, just kind of give yourself that break from answering emails and IMs all the time, unless it's absolutely critical. Pick a hobby that forces you to unplug completely. So hmm, how about like swimming? How about like, you know, going and playing soccer, stuff like that. Things that you really can't have your phone on you because it's, it's going to be all over the place or getting wet and ruined. Okay. Go boating, go do something outside that you can't have your phone, go somewhere where you don't even have service after work, which is kind of hard to do now, but you know, stuff like that. So just, those are some realistic ways. Obviously life right now is connected. Everything's connected. So just be careful, make sure you're giving yourself some time to slow down and stop from all of that. All right. And then our joke today, I actually remembered to write it down. What kind of shoes does a frog wear? Stick around to the end. And again, our little cute froggy walking across the street or whatever. Okay, our, just stick around to the end. I'll give you the answer when we get there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are actually right on time, which is always surprising to me. Let's get down to the ground. We're gonna start with a glute bridge leg drop. Okay, so we're getting down to the ground. We're gonna get those heels dug into the ground, toes slightly elevated, hands out to the side for support. I'm gonna bridge up nice and high here. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. Now this is the warm up. So at any point in here, if you feel like you're getting more taxed than just warming up, we can come down and reset and then get back into it. Cause this is again, this is just the warm up. So let's go ahead and take that right leg, reach to the sky. We're gonna lower it nice and slow, keeping my hips off the ground, tap the floor, bring it right back up. Let's do five of those nice and easy, nice and slow. Make sure you're breathing throughout this entire class today. That's the first thing I want you to focus on mostly is breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth as we do this exercise. One more here, tap that floor. Now switch to the other side, okay? Try not to let your hip shift. So as we lower our foot, tap that floor and bring it back up. My hips are not changing levels. I'm using my core. I'm using my hip flexors, all that strength to just lower that leg, waking up the glutes, waking up those hip flexors, sweating a little, Woo. and down. Nice. All right. Come out of that. We're going to go ahead and go into our shin box rotation. Okay, so I'm gonna sit on the floor. I'm gonna get into a shin box position. So my right leg is tucked into my left thigh. My left leg is pointing behind me, okay? From here, take your hands, put them on the floor. We're gonna go ahead and rotate 
through our hips, gluing those feet to the ground. I'm just gonna rotate back and forth. I'm just switching position. Okay, now if you've been doing this class for a while and you want to challenge yourself a little bit, remember this is just warm up. So I'm really just going through those hip flexibility movements. But if you want to challenge yourself and work your core, take those hands off, but really try to focus on not moving those feet. Okay, so again, that adds a little more strength to it, but this is warm up. I just want to really go through those hip movements really cleanly today. And perfect, about four each side. I was just shifting back and forth as we were talking. Okay, nothing crazy. Okay, go ahead and go into your quad hip flexor stretch. Quad hip flexor, half kneeling position. Okay, half kneel. First thing I'm gonna do, squeeze this down butt cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my glute. I'm gonna think of my pelvis as a bucket. I wanna pour the bucket behind me. I'm gonna drive to the front of the room. Relax back, squeeze that glute, keep that pelvis tipped back. So I got my hand on my butt. I'm trying to feel if my pelvis is pointing backwards and then I'm keeping my hand on my chest to make sure that my chest stays upright. Okay, you can use your own hands as a good way to judge how your body's reacting to movements. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Squeeze that down cheek, press to the front of the room, relax back. Now remember, this is all recovery stuff, so it's not gonna be all strength. It's not gonna be all stretching. We do a nice little combo of everything. This is a one-way camera class, so I can't see you. So make sure you have some good space around you for all these movements today. Make sure you're in a nice, safe area, have water, okay? If anything starts to feel weird, please take a break, reset. I can't see you, so I can't adjust you. So just kind of know your body, know your space, and go from there, all right? Let's go ahead and go into a bird dog, okay? Big thing here. We just learned how to dump the bucket through our pelvis, okay? So we wanna go ahead and flatten our back. So I'm rounding my pelvis, flattening my back, tight core, arm out, leg out. We're gonna go nice and slow bird dogs, point, and then come together. My back's not changing positions, just my arm and leg are coming in and out. We're gonna go five, on each side, one more here. Then we're gonna switch sides. Keep that breath going, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, focusing on those muscles that we're working. So core, obliques, shoulders, hips, glutes. Those are all things we're working right now. Last one, in and out and relax all right last thing before we go into our actual recovery movements we're going to go ahead and do a drop squat pogo okay so we're going to start up on our toes when i say go we're going to drop in when i say go a second time we're going to pogo just bounce nice and light on our toes okay both feet same time nice and easy nothing crazy fast we're just going to do two of these all the way up go go just start bouncing nice and easy Three, two, one, and relax. Go all the way up. Go, go. Start bouncing nice and easy. Three, two, and one, relax. All right, grab a quick drink of water. So we're gonna go through the movements. The first round will be a little slower because we're learning the movements, okay? Go through them nice and easy, nice and slow. Second round will be a little quicker. So just remember that as we go, okay? Quick drink of water. Whew. All right, guys. So our first one, reverse lunge with rotation. So we have two ways to do this choice today. We're gonna reverse, okay? You can come all the way to the ground or you can hover your knee, it's your choice. If you want it more recovery, take it all the way to the ground. If you want to add a little more strength, hover that knee about an inch off the ground. Rotation, reaching to my back knee, rotating away, coming back, stepping up. Okay, we're gonna rotate or switch each time. 
Okay, switch our leg each time. So reverse lunge, rotate, step up. Okay, make sure you're using that hand to help you rotate around. We're gonna do five of these on each side. When you step up, if you're all the way down on the ground or if you're hovering, when you step up, I want the majority of that step to come off of that front leg. That's your power leg for this exercise. You're driving from that front leg, stepping up, single leg squat style, okay? Reverse lunge. I'm taking this as more of a recovery for this round. Next round, I might stay elevated a little more, but for this one, I just really wanna go focus on that T-spine rotation and the good movements through my hips, opening everything up. So like I said, this is dealer's choice, right? You get to pick, you get to do what you wanna do. You can make the movements as clean and crisp as you want to, okay? Last one here, open up, close down. Good, drop lunge. Best way to do a drop lunge or a curtsy lunge. Okay, I'm gonna balance on my left leg. I'm gonna slide my toe in around my left leg and then down to the ground. Tap my knee, come right back up, stand up. I'm gonna go all five to one side. Open up, bring that knee down, step up, okay? If you need to, use your hands on your knee to stay stable and help you up. This is an awkward position. You're gonna feel that stretch in that IT band and glute, okay? So we're strengthening that, but we're also stretching through those hips, opening things up and coming up. Two more. Now, the reason we're doing them all on one side instead of alternating, one, it's nice because you can just continue to do one side, two, it helps us get a little deeper and a little stronger each time because our muscles start to figure it out and adapt, okay? Our body is very adaptable. Step up, good. Notice that I'm sliding my foot around in a big half circle, coming down, tapping my knee to the ground, coming back up and sliding it back, okay? Now, don't crash your knee to the ground. Allow yourself to slowly come to the ground. Tap and go back. Nice and slow, we got one more. Take your time with these. Down nice and slow. Up and relax, all right. Down to the ground. Now going into a marching glute bridge. We're gonna do five on each side. So down on the ground, just like when we warmed up, Gonna squeeze our glutes, raise our hips nice and high, keeping them as flat as possible. Chest, hips, knees should be a fairly straight line, okay? Now, without using my arms, I'm gonna leave my arms down. I'm gonna bring one knee up to my chest, set that leg down, switch to the other side. Five of those on each side, nice, slow, and controlled with this one. We're not trying to sprint in a glute bridge position, right? We're taking our time. We're bringing that knee as close to our chest as possible actively, okay? I'm not passively doing it by grabbing my knee. I'm forcing my muscles to do the work instead of allowing my arms to lift my leg further, okay? So I'm focusing a lot on my hip flexor and my core along with making my glutes stabilize as I'm holding my hips up nice and high. One more on each side after I finish this left side. Keep those hips nice and high. Good. Good, relax down. All right, straight into a dead bug. So go ahead and bring those legs up 90, 90. 90 at the chin, 90 at the hip, arms up. Now today, keeping our core nice and tight, we're just gonna kick our legs out straight. So just kick my leg out. Bring it back, one. There you go, good. Out, two, five on each side. Out, three. Keep those ribs from flaring up, good. Out, four, good. Last one, out, five, and finish it out and relax. All right, now 
continuing our series of learning how to do a get up properly. We are now going into our get up for today. Today is again a full get up. So we're going all the way up to a stand, all the way back down. If you've never done these before, you can watch this first round of these, okay? And then on the next round, pick up where you can. Just listen to the cues, okay? So right arm pointing up, right leg pointing up, left arm and left leg. Actually, let me turn this way. Left arm and left leg kind of go out to a 45. Okay, I'm looking where this hand is going the entire time. I'm pressing to my elbow, hand, bridging those hips up high, sweeping that straight leg back into that half bent position, coming to a half kneel, standing up, and then reversing the entire process. Reverse lunge down to my knee. Windshield wiper my foot. So I turn my foot towards the inside. Slide my hand down to the ground. Still looking where that hand is. Good, bridge, slide that leg out into that bridge position. Sit down, come to your elbow, come to your back. Good, switch legs. Here we go, right leg or left leg up, left arm up, come to my elbow, hand, bridge, sweep, half kneel, stand, and reverse the process. Reverse lunge, windshield wiper, right? Turn that leg inside, slide that hand down to the ground. Good. Bridge up, swing through, set my butt down, come to my elbow, come to my back, and relax down. Nice. Grab a quick drink, a real quick drink, and we'll go round two. Okay, because we're doing get ups, it takes a little longer at the end of each round, right? Because we're focusing on that long movement. Okay, so don't feel bad. We're learning it, right? That's why we're continuing through this month learning well actually now it's July, so we're continuing the end of june and the beginning of july to learn get ups properly okay all right up on our feet lunge rotations round two okay remember this round's a little quicker with everything so go ahead and start your reverse lunge get your good rotation step up switch sides okay take your time right we're going a little quicker but i still want these movements really crisp There you are. Really crisp. I keep getting uh, phone calls during this class for some reason, and I use my phone because the connection's way better. But then when you get calls from spam, it hangs up on your Zoom and you can't say ignore. So sorry about that, guys. Finishing up your last two reps. Those last two reps in. I need to get a better Wi Fi router up in the apartment so that I can just uh, set my Wi-Fi, put my phone on airplane mode. That's what I need to do. All right, here we go. Swing that leg around, curtsy lunge or drop lunge. Remember we're doing all one side, right? Little quicker, coming up and down. Use that front leg as your strength, right? I'm sitting down and I'm coming up off of that front leg. I'm driving off of that front leg. Nice and strong. One more. This is also really good for uh, like a movement session if you play sports, okay? Any kind of sport, this is really good for learning how to cross over your hip, okay? So I'm coming over the top. I'm learning how to power out of that crossover leg, okay? So I'm really learning how to move properly in different planes of motion, right? Not just forward all the time. Because unfortunately, we do a lot of stuff, or fortunately, I should say, not unfortunately, we do a lot of stuff all over the place, not just in one direction. Beautiful. One more. And uh, nice, glute bridge position. Okay, here come those marches. Get yourself set. Bridge up, 
Again, we're actively lifting that leg as far as we can, sending it back down. Really rocking through it, guys. Really rocking through it. Five on each side. <sighs> nice and strong. Okay. Now, if you feel like you can get more and you want to go in for a little bit more, do the active first. Get it as far as you can. Pull a little bit extra with your hand. But do the majority with your legs. One more on each side. Here we go. Last. And relax. Good. Dead bug position. Okay. Get yourself set. Arms up. Nice tight core. Don't allow your ribs to flare. Right leg out. Back. Good. Left leg out. And back. Good. We're not doing bicycles, so it's not super fast, right? But we are quick with these. But I don't want you running in place in the air. I want you to focus on nice, steady movements here. There's three. Four. Five. Good. Relax. All right. Get up. Okay, again, I'll turn forward. Okay, right leg up, right hand up, left arm and leg out at about a 45 elbow. Hand, hip, good, swing, half kneel, stand, and reverse that, reverse lunge, windshield wiper, hand slides down. Good. Bridge up, swing through. Come down, elbow, and back. All right, switching sides. Good. Get yourselves locked in. Start left leg up, elbow, hand, bridge, sweep, half kneel, stand. Good, and now reverse the process. Reverse, lunge, sweep through. Hand slides down, bridge up, swing it out, set down, sit back, all the way down, and relax. All right, guys, go ahead and grab a quick drink as we transition. All we have left is a a little bit of cardio for just a few seconds, basically. Your coach's challenge, joke of the day, and quote. So really quick, just a few minutes longer, okay? Whew, we're feeling good. Get that water in you. Oh, yeah, we're right on time, actually. We're doing good, okay? So we got about two minutes of cardio, okay? Then we got about a minute and a half of coach's challenge where you get your quote of the day. And then we have our joke. So make sure you don't take off quite yet. Okay, not quite yet. Okay, get yourselves ready. We are going speed squats. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four rounds. Okay, four rounds? Yeah, four rounds. That's right. I can do math, I promise. Okay, so speed squats. All we're doing is quick little squats. Okay, does not have to be deep. It just needs to be quick, moving quick. Okay, here we go. Get yourself set. Three, two. One and go speed squat it out. Okay, get in as many as you can in 20 seconds. Okay, keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Stay active, stay moving. Good, good. Two, one, rest. Whew. Good job. Okay, five seconds. We're on round two. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, round two is going to feel a little harder, right? Short rest. We're overworking our rest time, right? So our heart rate is just going to continually climb. So use that recovery time to breathe in. Get a quick drink if you need to. Keep it up. Five seconds. Two. One. Rest. There's a bald eagle flying around me. I can hear him. Here you go. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Starting our second set of two, right? Second set of two. There you go. Keep it up. 
nice and quick. Drop those hips just a little bit. Power back out. Drop and power. Drop and power. There, there you go. Three. Two. Two, one, here we go. Five, four, and go. Get it in. Finish this last one out all the way through. Okay, even if you have to slow down, slow down a little bit. I jumped. I jumped a little. There you go. Come on. Five more seconds. Couple more reps. Two, one, and rest. All right. Here we go. Coach's challenge. Now, coach's challenge. You do not have to do, okay? This is here to push myself, hopefully push you if you want to uh, do it with me. Basically, all we're going to do is position. Feet, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you do your normal push-up with, okay? We're going to come halfway down, and we're going to hold as I read the quote, okay? That's it. That's it. Here we go. Lock in. Plank position, let me move my paper so I can read it. Plank position, lock in, come down halfway and hold. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. There's the quote. Okay guys, that's just like everything, right? It's not gonna come to you, you gotta go get it. So with fitness, with work, with life, don't wait around, go and get it, press back up. Nice work. Okay, just the fact that you guys are being here, you're taking the time for yourselves, you're taking the time for your health, your recovery, all this stuff. That's what this is all about, okay? It brings me to help you. You guys help me to be more active, more fit. I get to teach you. Hopefully, you're learning some good stuff, okay? So thank you for being here. Thank you for putting the time in for yourself. Like I said, I'm going to read this super long quote one more time. Let it sink in, okay? This is not just for fitness. This is for everything, it's all encompassing. If opportunity doesn't knock, does not knock, build a door, do it. Reach out and get it. If you have a dream, go out and pursue it, do it, okay? That's from your coach to you, okay? I'm speaking to you for myself and for you, hopefully. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day. Have an amazing weekend. Please go out, be safe, celebrate the fourth with your family, friends, if you can. As long as you're safe okay be careful it's hot so whatever that means for fireworks and everything uh celebrate safely have a great weekend enjoy it okay eat some good food and then we'll recover in a couple of weeks all right guys thank you again for being here i appreciate you say hi to all your friends and family bring them to class sometime bring your friends at work to class let's work out together all right guys thank you very much and then let me give you your joke really quick. What kind of shoes does a frog wear? I can hear some of you yelling slippers or flippers. Uh, no, open toed, open toed. Oh, so good. All right, guys, thanks again. I appreciate you. Go out, get some sunshine, but be safe. Wear sunscreen, drink lots of water, okay? Lots of fluids. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Pause this recording.